Yo, what's up? This is your boy Derek Branch here at Strike7Sports.com. Today I got some news concerning the Memphis Tigers and men's basketball program. And that's mainly down with the recent news that has came out concerning Alex Lomax, the uh, point guard, um, local prospect, local um, hometown star of the uh, program. Um, about I would say about two weeks ago I heard, got some information from a strong source that it was about a 90% chance, like a 90 to, I will add, yeah, like a 90% chance that Alex Lomax was not returning to the University of Memphis and that he would be pursuing a career overseas um, as most, most, likely, most likely begins his own um, career as a uh, professional basketball player. Well, now, you know, two weeks later, the latest report is that there's a strong possibility, quote, end quote, strong possibility that Ash Lomax could return to Memphis for his fifth season with the program. Now, I'm not bashing my credibility of my source because um, with all things, these things, these type of rumors, these type of uh, the information changes from time to time. You never know one day a player could be, a day or two a player could be going to a certain situation and then about a week later that that entire situation can change. So my source was correct. Um, I believe him. And um, it is, it's a circ the circumstance, that's the circumstances right now with this uh, situation is that Alex Lomax will be coming back. Could, there's a strong possibility that he's coming back to the program. I believe, I think it's about a 95 and 100% chance it's going to happen. That he's going to be joining, pre joining the program. Um, now, with Lomax coming back, all signs, you know, all, all talk that I've gathered, information that I've gathered, that I've uh, gathered is that his minutes are going to be reduced significantly. I would say. From based on the report I got is that his room minutes could be reduced to he could be playing between twelve to fifteen minutes per game. And that's coming off the bench, backing up um Kendrick Davis, the um the number one transport player in the country, transport portal player in the country that was that decided to go to Memphis coming from SMU. So you got Kendrick Davis on the floor and you have Alex Lomax as a backup. And I think it would be it'd be great to have um, a guy like Alex Lomax back in his program for another season, for one more year, fifth year. And that's because that gives you another player with veteran experience, another player with um, that knows Penny, that knows the scheme he wants to run, that's familiar with playing in the AAC, the AAC. The AAC. Um, just has experience playing a lot of ball games, a lot of um, playing a lot of big games. Um, I think when um, he's used, he's when Lomax is utilized the right way, I think he can be a great asset to your team. You know, he can't be the number one asset, but he can be one of them. You know, he's a great script, distributor distributor of the ball, a guy that you know is a, I think who I believe is a traditional point guard when he's utilized as a traditional point guard in an offense he's a great asset to a team he's a guy that can get the ball up the court that can put players in a position to succeed knows all the um signs very um official with the basketball when he's utilized in the right way not as a scorer trying to play iso ball hero ball you know and I think it's great. I think it's great that Lomax come back to the program. It's great. Um, minutes are going to be reduced, and that's because you got Kendrick Davis on the in, 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 in the fold now. You know he came here for a reason. He came here to improve his game. He came here to compete. You know, contend for national champ, contend for national championship with Memphis, and wanted to work with Penny Hardaway and uh, improve his game for the next level. So you got, um, you, you have a guy like Lomax in the fold as well. As a guy, Lomax could be a guy that can give um, Davis a breather and, and play a couple minutes, play some minutes. You know, because last year, 
you know, Lomax, she's capable of playing a, um, a lot of men. She's capable of uh, coming in there, coming in there and uh, contribute. You know, last year he played above his 26 to 30 minutes a game last season. But, you know, and also I want to find, based on what I've gathered, is that another theory that's out there is that um, Penny could play uh, Lomax at the uh, the point guard position and move Davis from the PG from point guard to play at the, t at the two at a two guard, so he could become a scorer. So that won't be bad as well, man. It's just a lot of possibility, a lot of things you can do with this team, man. I'm just looking forward to seeing how this is going to mesh together, you know, compared to the previous years, where it's a lot of, um, you know, four and five star prospects and a lot of, uh, you know, one and done guys. You know, how this is going to mesh, how long it's going to take for that, for this veteran leadership to bring their talents together. How long is that going to take? And how that's going to um, fare out through the season? Because they start off with a pretty, um, I think tough schedule, you know, um, not nothing. I don't think it's, I don't think it's nothing to really stress out about, but it's, you know, it's a, it's a challenging schedule compared to previous years. You know, you open up against, uh, they on the road against Vanderbilt. Then you go down the road to, uh, St. Louis, take on the uh, St. Louis, uh, Billikens. So I think it's, um, great to have him on back to the program, man. Good to see the, uh, the fans love him. Um, he knows the area familiar with Penny. Like I said, and why not? It won't hurt to bring it back. So I think it's a great move to bring back um, that Lomax is coming back based on the reports, based on what I've got it. Strong, like I said, in you know, quotes, strong possibility he's coming back. So we'll see. And other news I got is that um, the news that uh, members will be adding another star to the program. Another, I will say, I won't say, well, I will call him a star, but another guy that can be an asset to the program. Um, I found this out today um, in the morning. And a guy named uh, Yaxel, I'm assuming that's his name. Hope I messed it up. Yaxel uh, Lindenberg, uh, Junko, All American. Um, best player. He only played 11 games based on uh, the story I read from. Um, the C8 commercial appeal, but he's a player that um, is going to be pretty much, what I'm hearing is almost a done deal that he's going to be with the Tigers. He is a uh, a forward, but he can play um, multiple positions from what I've heard, from what I've read. He can move him among, around the court. Guy that's, uh, he could play from what I heard, he could be a, he's like a hybrid player. He can be a, a point forward guy that, a, a forward that can, you know, push the uh, the ball of the court, you know. So, it's uh, interesting, you know, a guy like that on your uh, program, I heard that. I mean, I'm, and I'm like to see, you know, where could he be utilized as, as a scorer, you know, because I feel like, um, you know, Memphis needs scoring, man. Memphis needs a lot of players that can score points, you know, because we've seen in the past how Memphis go on these runs where they go on these, uh, like, scoring drops where they, it takes them a, a while to get going. It takes them a while to generate an offense, you know, after coming off, a, you know, a, a run where they're putting um, the scoring buckets. But then there's that period where they just – Getting this uh this gap, this getting these uh scoring freezes where they let teams teams come back on them, you know. And if you have a guy like this on your team, can he be utilized as a scorer? From based on what I read, he averaged twelve points, eleven rebounds, and he can score. He's a player that can is capable of scoring, capable capable of um you know getting the ball up the court. As a forward, a point forward, I say, positionless uh, player, you know. But uh, based on what I heard, I also read that guys had over 20 offers, 20 scholarship offers, you know. And um, 
Memphis is um on the top of his list, man. So shots out to Penny, man. You know he was gonna have something else up his sleeve. You know, you know, I know he wasn't just gonna bring out the roster that he has. It ain't, it ain't the roster he has right now prior to you know y'all sell is pretty impressive to me, but um we can use this guy in multiple uh, ways on your team. Ren defender, you know, guy that can uh, grab rebounds. I'm I'm hearing that he's a you know, a really good rebounder, uh, block shots, 1.6, you know, in 29 games. There's 11 rebounds, um, average 11 rebounds, tied to 10th in the country for JUCOs, junior college players, 60.7% uh, 60, 60 shooting from the field. So, um, good player, man. I think it's a good player right here. And a quote I got from one of the uh, – I think the assistants that worked with him is that he's very unique, kind of a hybrid point forward. Said Isaacs, uh, he's like he was our backup point guard, but we played him all over the floor. He just got such a great feel, a great feel, super unselfish. He'd rather have 12 points, 12 plus rebounds, nine assists, and two points, which makes him popular in the locker room. He's everybody's favorite guy on the floor, guy off the floor. So this is a good player, man. I think it's a player that. We help out this program a lot, man. A guy like this, you know, I mean, Penny could do so much with this guy, this type of player, man. And then he can use a guy that can, another guy that can grab rebounds, that can grab boards, that can, you know, possibly, I don't know if they will put him at center, you know, and uh, that you know, way he can give, you know, guys like uh, Malcolm Dandridge, you know, break here and there. But this will be interesting, man player like this on your team so we'll see everything plays out man um i was begging news on this like it's confirmed news that he's coming to the program in the next i would say a week or so you know i don't think i don't see nothing happen. i mean it could happen over the weekend too because you know penny hardaway you know he don't stop you know you get news like that's when uh emmanuel coot signed was on a day that was a farthest day when he signed with the program we come he joined uh he left the portal and joined the program so we can get this news within the next day or two or next monday or something like that so we'll see but good news so far for memphis uh basketball man they just continue to um build a roster continue to add depth add talent to the team um looking forward to seeing how they can deal with you know how they're gonna handle that schedule when they uh, prepare for this upcoming season. So we'll see how everything plays out. All right, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel, how you feel about Alex Lomax return to the program for his fifth season. Also, the thoughts on uh, Yaxel, uh, Yaxel, um, we call him Yak. My bad, I'm tripping, man. Yaxel Denberg. Thoughts on him? What do you? What position do you think? What areas of where do you think um, Penny Hardaway can deploy him on the floor? And um, that's all I have for y'all for right now, man. Just hit that, give me a subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon. You know, whenever I go live, my latest updates. And if you interested in you know, uh, listening to any of my uh, Memphis content, check out my Memphis uh tigers playlist i have all kind of videos uh live streams interviews um press conference interviews when i was at the liberty bowl trying to get back there this year but we'll see everything plays out so have a blessed night peace i'm out